Hey folks, so I just finished the knife cherry in the tin ABL and I cannot wait to test it. So right there, right, ran out of the shop with the camera. So you see, it's a two-piece takedown sheet. It's riveted and there are the three screws in the center so they can be taken apart, you know, to expose just the tip area or to expose just the back area for the draw. Super light, I forgot to weight it, uh, but it's... This is probably about 15 ounces, I'm guessing, a little more maybe. Uh, about maybe about 15 ounces it really is light right now it has still pretty nice and thin grind it looks like about it looks like actually under 50 uh, around 15,000 maybe a little less than 15,000 behind that so we'll see if it's strong enough I think it should be if I don't twist the blade in the cut it should be good what I did on this is removable that triple color the OD green uh, OD green black and sage I think or coyote tan I like it, just nice natural, nice contouring, very comfortable in the hand. So we'll see, it's really nimble in the hand. It's funny because compared to the other knife cherry, the balance is further from your index finger, but because there's just no mass, it feels even lighter, and you know, just the balance wise, it feels like you holding nothing, it really is that light. So I'm just gonna like clean some brush here, and uh, see how it holds up. Some of this, some of this or whatever it's called. Oh, it cuts without any effort because there's very little resistance because of the stack and thickness. Unsupported edge phenomenon. Breaking before it cuts through vines. <laughs> Didn't expect it to go that easy. There's another thick piece. Really is nice. Those are actually dry, that is breaking before the blade can even cut it. Let's see, that's about an inch, inch thick. Really easy. Now this is just stood, it's just standing, it has no support, but it still should be, yeah, no problems to slice through it. Edge, nothing, good. I didn't do any kind of wrong cuts. I shouldn't be kind of even concerned about that. I think I showed the capabilities of ABL many times over before, and I love it. Let me try to get some of this thicker stuff. Try take down this branch up here. It's kind of far. I can't really reach it. Let's see. Let's see. It's cutting right through the nut. What I feel hard on the blade, wiggling the. It's like pretty hard, you know, twisting it in the nap. I'm actually curious when I inspect it afterwards. <laughs> Can't reach it. There we go. Come down. Red bites really well. Ice cream for argan dirt. Nice, no damage. It's nice because I was twisting it. It was really very far from ideal position for me to chop with. So a lot of those hits I did twist it to get it out. And uh, because of the not ideal notching, I was it was binding on me. And as the branch flexed, it was pulling all weird directions. So nice to see. No ripples, no dance, I like it. 
feels really nice in the hand. Really feels good. Let's see. See, that's pretty nice. Hard wood. It's life. I like it. I really do like this knife cherry. It's so light, so nimble. It's only gonna be the greatest sharper for the heavier woods, but for the light, light, veg life, vegetation, green stuff. Cleaning the trails and brushes, man, it's nice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I miss these types of types of videos. I test everything, but I just don't make that many videos of it because it's always just quick testing, see how it works, see if I like it, see if I need to thicken up the edge and all that stuff. So, but I, I still do this very often on the on the knives that I make. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. A little bit chop it up Sunday. <laughs> I miss that too. Thanks for watching, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.